bye bye Halong, bye bye beautiful hotel. I really enjoyed myself here. I was 59 years of age here and 19 years married. And now it's time for the last long trip. The last sort of 100, I think it's 187, 190 kilometers between Halong and Hanoi. Look what I just saw, what I'm gonna drive under. Quan Ninh Gate. I am on my way to Hanoi. So I saw this and I thought I stopped making a little video. And this is very unusual, I've never seen anything like this. In a road, you know. <laughs> so many ducks everywhere. Everywhere, as far as the eye can see. I've been driving on this crazy road here. And I had to stop filming because I've never in my life seen so many ducks. And it's kilometers and kilometers. I don't know what's going on here, you know. It's the first time I saw an accident. And unfortunately the person is dead. Some didn't need there, the sheets. And the view was with the bicycle. And died. Thank you, Jesus. Officially, I am in Hanoi. And this is Styles Motorbikes in Hanoi. And before I even go to the hotel, I wanted to come in person to the shop and see that they still have my passport because I left my passport in Saigon. <laughs> I still have the bike for another five days, but I'm officially in Hanoi. So I made it. The last time I checked there was over 3000 kilometers, but I'll be going around in Hanoi with the motorbike. So I'll give the official how many kilometers I done in 28 days in Vietnam when I returned the motorbike to the place. Okay, so here's my passport. Look, Malta, and he opened it and showed me my face. So it's all good. He have a lot of passports of everybody. Okay. So he had time to look. <laughs> and now, when I return the bike, I'll get the passport and go to the airport from here. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honda. Unbelievable what we've been together. Thank you very much. What we've been through, only me and you know. Unbelievable. Thank you, Honda. The passport in my hand. And what does this mean? It means I gave back the bike. So I'm gonna give you a little bit information that I gathered together in these 25 days with the bike. So, I done 3,000 480 kilometers that's the equivalent of around 139 kilometers per day although there was some days that I didn't even touch the bike filled it up at the petrol stations 10 times a total of 1,485,000 dong which is the equivalent of around 55 euro so considering all the hills and mountains and driving really fast 
doing 3,480 kilometers, the consumption was very low. I thought it will be much more, to be honest. Punctures, thanks God, I never had, because I was dreading that. Stopped without petrol, never. That is something I was dreading as well, but I make sure that when it's just two bars, I stop and fill it up to the top. Most scary day, it was on the Ho Chi Minh Highway between Hoi and Pogna. That was terrible. The journey was supposed to take me four hours and it took me seven hours. I found rain and trucks which I couldn't overtake. It was terrible. I even had a poncho it all ripped. Terrible. I was full of mud. You name it. And that day happened. But it's part of the journey. Most easy place I drove was Katba Island. It was easy. It's an island. It's just the way around. Quiet roads. Quite comfortable. Nice. It was good. Most obeying rules in all the cities I went to. I think it was Halong Bay, actually. Yeah, the traffic was flowing there. They actually stopped on the red lights. Um, they let people cross the road. And I, I noticed that if I was doing something that I wasn't supposed to do, because I was doing that while I've been here, then I was the only one doing that. So. It's like uh, they obey the rules quite nicely there. Most crazy hmm. has to be Saigon. Hanoi, second. But Saigon is definitely the most crazy place to drive a motorbike. Or, or even to walk onto the streets, to be honest. Obstacles. It has to be the rain. When it rains, it's terrible to ride on the roads and even the trucks the trucks and pumping the horn and 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 getting behind them and being behind them especially in the rain with all that mud it's just the trucks views everywhere vietnam vietnam is a paradise for nature so wherever i drove I enjoyed it and views and I stopped, I mingled with people, I learned about the culture, I even stopped in places where there would, they've never even seen any tourists there. So that was good. Was I scared? Yes, of course, I was. And it's only my determination that kept me going, to be honest. You have to have strong determination, it's not easy especially being on your own anything can happen and no one there is to help you and uh, actually i can say i'm proud of myself that i picked up the bike in saigon and drove it all the way to hanoi on my own would i do it again would i do it again well first of all i don't have the time now i'm almost you know i'm 59 already and going into 60 and um maybe if i ever come back to vietnam maybe i will land in hanoi and get a bike and just go up to sapa because that is something i wanted to do but i didn't have enough time i didn't want to rush things so i had to miss sapa altogether so but not the from south to north all the way no i wouldn't do that would I recommend the trip? Of course, it's the only way to see Vietnam properly. It's the only way. There's no other way. Don't tell me I go with the trains and I go with the taxis and I go with the buses. All bull. The only way to really see Vietnam is get on the back of a motorbike and drive it. Or from north to south or from south to north. What did I see? Everything. Ethnic peoples, 
lakes, beaches, I don't know, mountains, everything, traffic, <laughs> everything. What uh, did I see bad? Uh, once I was walking, I wasn't driving, and there was a dead person on the floor. He got hit by a car. Um, I was upset. In fact, I had a little tear in my eye uh, because I said to myself, you know, it could, e it could easily have been me, you know. Like I said, uh, it wasn't all hunky-dory. There was times that I was scared for my life, but I done it. And I'm happy that I done it. Thank you.